Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in today's um, video, we'll be generating digital art based on just one prompt across multiple free AI sites. Not every of the sites I'll be using in today's video will be completely free, but they are mostly just um, freemium sites. So at the end of the video, we'll have to decide on which generator is the best, at least for the prompt that we input. Okay, so let's get to it. Now, the first website to this list is called um, crayon.com. Now, this is the prompt that we'll be using across all AI websites. So for those that are really familiar with prompt, these um, numbers, they are just um, a way to tell the AI the size of the painting you want. This prompt is very helpful if you're familiar with using mid journey. So let's just click on draw and see what we get. So we have to wait for two minutes. Now let's look at the image that was generated. The first one, I actually don't want to see what I don't want to see right now. So let's just view other um, artistic. Oh my God. Okay, let's go to the second website and we'll use the same prompt on the second website. The second website is Dal E2. So I have copied the prompt into it already to save time. So I'm going to click on generate. Okay. Okay. This is, this is, this is, um, this is okay. Let's see this. This is quite good too. This is good. A house in a bubble. This is good. Um, one thing I love about artistic output that Dal E2 gave is that the pictures are more detailed. So we're on the second one. Let's move to the third, which is deepai.org. So we'll click on generate because I've just um, input the prompt. Okay. Now, I actually don't know what to call this. Seriously. What is this? <laughs> Like, what is this? I don't know. I don't know the name to call this, but uh, this is way below what I was expecting. Let me give it, let me just try it again and click on generate again. Okay. Um, this is quite better. Okay. Let me, let me, let me just change the style and let's just try it again because I'm still not satisfied. Like I requested for bubbles. There is no bubble. So I'm going to change the style and click on generate again with the same prompt to see what um, will be generated for us. Okay. So this is actually the third website. At the end of the video, we're going to judge which AI actually interpreted the prompt in detail. I'm going to the first website, which is um, Photosonic AI Arts. Photosonic is a branch of Write Sonic, people that are using um, AI to generate content. So I already just input the prompt and I'll click on generate, telling me to log in. So let's see what would get. If you really want to know if Photosonic is free, Photosonic is not free. But if you register for the first time, you'll be given um, credit that you can use to generate AI art. It's not free. And it comes with watermark. As you can see the picture, they all come with watermark. So it's just um, basically a freemium AI art generator. Now, the output is quite detailed. Unlike um, the one generated by Crayon and the one generated by Deep AI, this is a very detailed output, really, really creative. It's actually different. And remember, we're using the same prompt across all websites, okay? But I actually don't understand what this image is all about. I don't know. I think I would go with the first design. So let's move to the fifth website. The fifth website is um, photo.com. So we're going to use the same prompt and see what will be generated. Oh my goodness, this is fun. This is taking time. This is taking a lot of time. I guess we just have to come back to this because 586 seconds is a lot of time just to wait for an AI to generate. I'm moving to the sixth website. Finally, before moving to the sixth website, we've gotten one output. Okay. Now, when you actually let's let's look at the image that was actually generated and the prompt that we gave it. The prompt was a home built in a huge soap bubble. Evidently, this is not an home. None of the outputs was built in a huge soap bubble, including... Let's just stick around to the end of the video. Now we're moving to the 
seven to website and it's called mellowbyte.com so mellowbyte.com actually have a text to image generator in fact they have truckloads of ai driven tools that is actually free that people can actually leverage and you can leverage it if you need it for today's video we just want to use image generator let's just see okay a own built in a bubble the interpretation though the um quality may not be up to it according to my own opinion the quality may not be as high as expected you might you would remember how in the prompt i actually stated hd but at least at least this um image actually have a um, feature of a own built in the bubble unlike some of the websites that we actually used in generating a random image of a home on water or beside water or some even actually gave us a home with um, windows all around so the quality of this image might actually be low but at least there is this interpretation a home built in a bubble let's move on to the next website the seventh website is um, night cafe ai art generator so let's see what night cafe will give us So we're just waiting for Night Cafe to actually generate <laughs> something for us. We've been waiting for a while now, so... One more. We're still waiting now. <laughs> I don't think I can wait for this any longer. So we'll just come back to Night, Night Cafe. So the final website on our list, we're going to be using Prompt Base as well. For those that are not really familiar with prompt base, prompt base is actually a marketplace where you can buy prompts um, that generates groundbreaking AI image. Now, when we actually look at the image that was generated, you would see that number one, it's we actually didn't sleep here like I did with all the, most of the websites. I I literally slept and waited for AI to actually generate those images. Now this actually took um, less than 10 seconds to generate. If you actually look at the detail of the picture and compare it to the prompt that I actually input, a own built in a huge soap bubble, I feel this in a way it's um, a bit in line with what was generated. So I actually believe, based on this output, I believe this particular ad generator actually have an in-depth understanding of how to interpret prompts. Okay, this is good. So I don't know what, what's your thoughts, like what do you actually think? Drop a comment in the comment section. Thanks for sticking to the end.